hello welcome back to another youtube video i am back in the u.s this is um i kind of had a weekend at home last weekend we got back saturday night and i had sunday and then i took monday off of work to kind of get my life together um i didn't know how i was gonna feel coming back to work on monday so i just decided to take it off i didn't know how the travel i've never traveled that far I didn't know how I was gonna, I didn't know how the jet lag was gonna make me feel. So I took Monday off, I had a four day week. It was pretty busy work week. I actually have a new coworker starting on Monday, which is gonna be so great to have someone kind of balance the workload a little bit and to also have a team member and she's gonna be in the office with me. And I'm just so excited to have someone in the office that's like a part of my team um my old co-worker she worked from home 100 percent remote i only saw her like a couple times throughout the year i can't believe i've almost been at my job for a year but back in the u.s italy was the most incredible place that i've been to seeing everything with your own eyes is so different than videoing it and taking a photo nothing captured it the way that just seeing it with your own eyes did it was incredible the best trip of my whole life so far i just posted in real time <laughs> technically i just posted the part one to italy but by the time you see this video both part one and part two of italy so the whole entire trip has been posted but it took me so long to edit part one i was going through so many different songs trying to find songs that fit the vibe of like italy and it was a lot of editing to do usually my vlogs are about maybe like 50 to 60 clips and just part one was over 300 individual clips so it was just a lot to kind of put together compile and have it flow so it took me all week to edit and i spent a lot of time editing it this morning i was kind of rushing around to finish editing that and then i had a nail appointment i just got my nails done and i'm not obsessed with them um i did want to do like a navy ish blue but this is kind of more on the royal blue side and i did them square and this is my natural nail i haven't done square nails in so long that i just wanted to see what they like looked like on me getting them done and i'm just like not obsessed with them i don't know maybe i'll get like next time i go i'll get like a different color and see how the square looks maybe it's just the color that's throwing me off i don't know it's kind of a lot i was trying to do like a transition into fall color it's funny because it matches my water bottle um i just got this water bottle too off amazon it's the simple modern brand i did want another stanley it's just these are cheaper and i really liked this color and i like how it's like all one color so I got this. I can link it down below. Just decided to get a new water bottle. And then I just went to Trader Joe's and I got a ton of stuff. So I'm excited. I'll do a haul once I get back. I honestly went in for miniature pumpkins to put on my center island because I do that every year. And had no plan on doing like a full haul. But I was in there. I was like, oh, I might as well like just grab a couple things. And before you know it. Um, I have a cart full of stuff, so I'll do a haul when I get inside, but I wanted to start off the vlog. I'm so happy to be back. I wasn't accepting that summer was over until after I got back from Italy. Truly, when I was in Italy, I was like, it's still summer. I mean, technically today is the first day of fall. It's September 22nd, but now that I'm back and home, I'm ready for fall. I haven't even had a pumpkin cream cold brew from Starbucks yet or anything like that. Happy to be home. I hope you guys enjoyed the Italy vlogs. I really enjoyed capturing the memories and sharing it with you all. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'm gonna take these bags inside and I'll do a haul. And I got a couple fall things and then some usual things and then a couple new things. So I'm excited. I'll do a haul, but I wanted to start with the vlog. Welcome back. I'm gonna take this stuff inside. Just unpacked everything from Trader Joe's. <laughs> and here is what I originally went in for, which were the little mini pumpkins. 
I had, last year they had really cute ones. They were a little bit bigger and they had, I found some with the cutest stem. If I can find a photo from last year, I'll put it on the screen right here. So they didn't have the bigger sized ones that I got last year. So I got four of the smaller ones to put right here. So I got those. I have never tried apple cider donuts. So I got some of these. I saw these last minute before I checked out and I picked them up. So I'm really excited. I got these. I thought these were so fun. Little hot cocoa melts. It's so hot here in Florida that I don't think we will <laughs> be drinking these on a cold night. But I thought they would be so fun and they're pumpkin and festive. Had to, of course, get one of these little candles. I love the vanilla pumpkin one. They also have the apple harvest. I thought they had three of them, but I guess they only have two. So I had to pick up one of these. So these are the only fall related items that I did get. Trader Joe's was crazy and also um, I didn't even really plan on doing a Trader Joe's haul to begin with. So <laughs> this is all I picked up that was fall related. And then I of course went down the frozen aisle and picked up some fried rice orange chicken. I think we're gonna do burgers this week, so I got some sweet potato fries. Never actually tried these, these chicken pot stickers. So I wanted to try these. I thought they would be good for like lunch or dinner. Cauliflower stir fry, these are incredible. The chicken soup dumplings, so I got a couple of those. Center cut fillets, these are really, really good. I saw this next to the chicken pot stickers the gyoza dipping sauce. So I thought this would be really good to have with those. When we got back from travel, I did a bunch of juices and I saw this and I thought it'd be like an easier juice option. Has just the ingredients listed, no added sugar. So I thought this was a great option. And if you don't have a juicer, this is such a good alternative and it's a good price from Trader Joe's. So I got two of those, got this style fried rice this is really good some avocado oil this was the last one and it was hiding got the hash browns they're so good got some of this fruit and vegetable wash this is actually a really good price for this at trader joe's so i got some of that chunky guacamole of course got these and then some sourdough bread so kind of a smaller trader joe's haul but i got a lot of good things, and then some new things. Okay, this was kind of unplanned, but I went to Target. I have probably like three small candles for right here that are fall scented and i wanted something bigger so i went in and i got this candle in the pumpkin woods scent there's also like a spice pumpkin scent it's by the threshold brand so i got this i love how it's the um crackling wick candle so i'm probably gonna put this on the center island with those pumpkins and then I saw this and I thought this was so cute. It was a little pumpkin. There was other colors too, but I liked this one the best and I liked the scent of this one. So I got that and I think I'm gonna put this over here on this wooden little tray that we keep next to the stove. So cute and it's a little festive candle. I had this one over there. Actually has my initial on it, but and then lastly, I got the warm cider and cinnamon. This was on sale, it was 30% off on an end cap and I really liked the smell of it. And I also thought the pattern was pretty for fall. And then I got some um, dish towels. We use these, sorry if this is gross, it has coffee on it, but it stains really easily. We use a big pack of these and it's just time to kind of throw them away and get new ones. Some of the coffee stains don't really come out. So this is what I've been using and there's like a huge bag that you can get from Home Depot. But I got a couple of these. I love the waffle knit of them. So I got a couple packages of these and then I ordered 
another one of this color online to restock and um, use these to clean up. So I use rags instead of paper towels to kind of wipe off the counters and things like that because it just is easier and I'm not going through a ton of paper towels. So that's why I always use rags like this. So I can link these down below. I can also link the candles that I got as well if you're interested. But I'm gonna throw these in the washer and then swap these out, the old ones that I have, and throw those away since they're kind of ready to go. Okay, it's the next day. I don't even know where the time went. It's already three o'clock and I think it's mainly because I was rushed again getting ready this morning because I slept in until 9.30, which is so late. I went to bed at 10 and I was like, perfect. I'm gonna go to bed early. I'll probably wake up maybe like seven. I'll have like a slower morning because I was planning to meet my friend for coffee today, my friend Maya. And I woke up at 9.30 and I was like, oh my gosh, she's coming to pick me up at 10. Like I was rushing around to get ready for her to come pick me up to go hang out and have coffee with her. Then after she came back to my apartment and she sat with Christian and I and we talked about the whole Europe trip for a couple of hours and she left at like 1 30 so I've been like doing laundry I just cooked some lunch and now I'm heading out the door to go to the grocery store and to make some returns and then I also have a Target pickup order of cleaning supplies and I forgot yesterday to go get cleaning supplies at Target the Mrs. Myers brand they have really good cleaning supplies for fall, like the fall scented cleaning supplies, and I forgot to pick it up. So I placed an order to pick it up. So I'll probably do that on my way back from doing these returns. And then I need to go to Publix and grocery shop and get meal prep ingredients. We're gonna do the cowboy caviar for meal prep this week over some jasmine rice. I wanted to switch it up this week and honestly been wanting to switch it up for a while with meal prep. We've just gotten into like the same things every week so I really wanted to switch it up and I've never actually made cowboy caviar so I thought it'd be really yummy over some jasmine rice for meal prep this week so I'm gonna do that I'm gonna swap out the black eyed peas though for garbanzo beans I was kind of wanting to do like some yummy bean type of salad and I was going through and then I was like why don't I just make cowboy caviar never made it before and I thought it'd be really yummy and easy for meal prep and just something different so i'm gonna get that and just some other little things for the week and then start up another work week i actually have a new co-worker starting tomorrow did i say that to you guys yet i can't remember but i have a new co-worker starting tomorrow at my job and she is coming into the office and sitting with me which will be so nice so i'm excited to have someone on my team again and sitting with me and just you know someone there and that's what i loved about mainly every job that I've worked at. I love the team aspect. It's always nice to be like a part of a team and to be able to bounce off of each other and like have someone there that like understands the work and the day-to-day -day just like you do. I don't know. I love the team aspect. So I was really wanting to get back to that at my job. But um, yeah, so I'm gonna head to run these errands, go to the grocery store, come back, meal prep, finish laundry. We do go out of town next weekend to, um, just for the day, I think we're only gonna do a day trip. We're going to South Florida for, by the time this video is up, I'm pretty sure she would have had announced it. 
but we're going to South Florida because our friend Sean and Sam are expecting their first baby and we're so excited we're going for the gender reveal so we're gonna find out if it's a boy or a girl and i'm so excited we actually found out the weekend that we got engaged that they just found out that they were having a baby so it's been just so exciting so i can't wait for that so we're going there saturday and just gonna be there for the day but yeah so excited gonna run my errands and then get back and do all of my house things that I need to get done for the week. Okay, I just got home from the grocery store and I put everything away and then I pulled out all the ingredients for the meal prep this week, which is cowboy caviar. And I'm doing garbanzo beans instead of black eyed peas in it and then black beans. I'll link the exact recipe that I use down below. I've never tried it before and this has been going around for a couple of years now, so I'm pretty sure everyone has probably made cowboy caviar, but I'm excited to make it. So I'm gonna prep all the ingredients, throw it in a bowl, make the dressing, and then I also am going to serve it over jasmine rice, so I'm gonna cook that as well, but I'm excited. Mm -hmm. Okay, we just got back from dinner. I feel like I've been running around all weekend long. I feel like there hasn't been enough hours in the day and I don't know why things are taking so much longer. I don't know, it, it's been really strange and just me sleeping in this morning and just woke up both mornings kind of trying to get stuff done and running around. I feel like I haven't had a chance to breathe, but I rushed through trying to meal prep our lunches and didn't get a chance to clean up and wipe off the counters until just now when I got back. And I picked these up today, these two fall scented Myers cleaners. And um, I loved this one last year, Acorn Spice. It kind of smells like cinnamon, just very fall. And then today I tried this fall leaf scent. I get the name because it's almost like what you would think like a fall leaf would smell like. It's almost like a Bath & Body Works candle. Not super fall scented, but still really nice. So definitely recommend. I know that there's another scent, but I can't remember what it's called. But the Acorn Spice was my favorite one last year. I bought like three or four of them to last me through the whole entire season. And this is just a new pickup from this year that I haven't tried before, but both really, really good. I feel like I look tired, but I'm about to get in the shower and get ready for another work week. And I wanted to just talk about some things. Ever since I got back from Italy, I've been really wanting to get back into like health and wellness. And it looks different for me every week or however I want to categorize health and wellness could be different. And I came back wanting to prioritize like my gut health. So I started taking a probiotic again and I got back on my greens from One Up Nutrition. Um, I'm also juicing. I won't do a juice, like a green juice and the greens in the same day, but if I don't have any juice on hand, like I'm gonna do the One Up Nutrition greens powder that I've taken on and off for probably almost two years now, which is kind of crazy. So I've been focusing a lot on gut health, feeling my best, making better decisions, getting healthier options at the grocery store, but I do treat myself and obviously get those unhealthy things too because life is all about balance and that's super important to me. But just getting back into being healthier, making healthier decisions, starting a probiotic again. I actually took seed, I want to say a little over two years ago. I took it for three or four months. And to be honest, back then my goals were not the same as my goals are now. And I kind of 
just was like, oh, whatever, I don't need to take it. And then I just didn't take any vitamins and supplements. And I can't speak on if seed actually like worked for me two years ago or not. I just think my health goals were a lot different two years ago. I wanna give it another go, try a probiotic. Okay, I had something in my eye. I really don't know if I got it or not. I'm like waiting to see if I got it. I've just started incorporating more health and wellness things back in because I did start taking more vitamins and they've helped me tremendously and I just wanted to get into taking a probiotic again and seeing what helps and what doesn't so wanted to say that and then also i have been wanting to get back into hair care and hair health i started using a couple months ago this strengthening scalp oil by go Lab beauty and i just ordered a cheaper one on amazon that has worked for a ton of people i haven't used this consistently to honestly say if it did anything at all but i have like this is like embarrassing for me to show because it doesn't look great. I just have like thin hair right here and I don't know how long it's been thin, probably a while. Um, I don't know if it's always been like that. It kind of makes me a little bit self-conscious. I don't like wearing my hair back too far because I don't like that you can really see how thin the hair is right there, but I wasn't consistent with using this. so. I don't really know if it worked. Um, so I've been trying to get thicker. I have no problem growing my hair. It grows like a weed. It grows really fast. It didn't always used to grow like this. I don't know if it's because I stopped washing it so much or I stopped paying attention to it, but I used to have really short hair in college and it was really thin. And one summer I stopped really dyeing it. I let my balayage grow out to here and I didn't dye it. I wash it like once or twice a week, which is I wash it twice a week now and I barely use heat on it. I don't know, it grows so quickly now. So I don't have a problem growing it. It's just the thickness of it. I just want it to be like a little bit thicker throughout here. So. I'm gonna finish off this bottle and then use the rest of the new bottle. I'll show it when it comes in. It's coming from Amazon. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Just wanna work on the thickness around the scalp of my hair. Um, I feel like I do a pretty good job of keeping my hair really healthy for it being so blonde. And I've had it blonde since my senior year of high school is when I was allowed to start dyeing my hair. So I did wanna speak about a brand. They reached out to me, it came at the perfect time because while I was away, I was like wanting to really, once I came back, start getting into the health of my hair and just the health of myself, just overall. So this brand called GK Hair reached out and offered to send moisturizing shampoo, moisturizing conditioner, and their serum. It came in a set that you can purchase and it's color safe and it protects your color. So I have used it a couple washes now and I think the main thing that I've noticed about it is that it's moisturizing and I tend to steer away or write off a lot of moisturizing products when they're in the shampoo and conditioner form because it can weigh down my hair and my hair is very fine. So certain products can easily weigh it down and make it feel like dirty, greasy, just weighed down full of product. And I almost feel like my hair feels like full, healthy, moisturized without it being weighed down. And I also didn't need to use like dry shampoo and my hair doesn't feel dirty and i had a really good hair day yesterday so have been really enjoying these products i can link them down below i don't have a code or anything um they just offered to send them but really been liking these products and then lastly i bought this with my own money i was kind of scared because hair serums kind of freaked me out but it's the vegamore vegamore grow hair serum and the kind of serums kind of freak me out because you can use this daily and I thought it would make my hair greasy and oily and it doesn't. It's so crazy. I apply it usually at nighttime, but we'll see how this helps. I've kind of researched it. I saw it on TikTok too. Um, and there's like coupon codes that you can find 
online for it too to get it at a little bit of a discount but i'm trying this out too so you can use this every single day and we'll see how it works so i can actually apply it right now i'm about to get in the shower but um i'm just i'm not washing my hair so i'll clip my hair up but I just take like a little dropper and i just kind of dot it and then rub it in and then i'll kind of distribute it that way and then i'll go like this and you can even use a scalp massager i have one of those in my shower actually and it will like show a little bit of dampness but it dries and i really need to brush my hair i haven't brushed it since this morning but it's like a little bit damp right here but it kind of just dries out and doesn't look like you put a serum in your hair so we'll see how this goes i can link all of these products down below i'll link the new one of these that i got I really this is like 30 ish dollars and i found one on amazon for like seven or eight dollars it's like the same size and people have had a lot of luck with it so i ended up ordering that one so i did just want to show those products and mention those things i'm gonna get in the shower and get ready for work i actually need to switch over some laundry i haven't been able to put away any of my laundry so i need to do that and i just feel like i've been rushing around all weekend i don't know why it's so weird but anyways i'm gonna get in the shower and do some laundry and get ready for the work week mm -hmm.